Radix is a nonprofit organization here in the south end of Albany, New York. We are creating an urban environmental education center, a demonstration site of sustainable tools and technologies that are designed to teach urban residents with a particular focus on youth how to have greater local access and control over essential resources such as food, water, waste management, and energy production. I like Radix because by growing like foods and stuff, it teaches you like certain things that you won't even know. When I'm here, I'm really doing stuff and planning. I'm learning how to use different things, farming tools. We've also done a lot of work around street tree planting. We're here in the south end of Albany where, as a consequence of decades of systemic disinvestment, there's a low percentage of tree canopy cover, which has resulted in higher ambient temperatures, which are going to be compounded as climate change advances. We already are experiencing what's called the herb urban heat island. Urban heat island, uh, we define as the increased temperature in the urban area versus the uh, rural countryside at the University of Albany. We map those special patterns of temperature, both surface temperature and air temperature, and uh, we also use simulation modeling. If we increase uh, green spaces you know, uh, in certain areas, we can uh, predict uh, the effect of those uh, additional planting. We have known people who work at Radix Center for a long time. A new call for grants by U.S. Forest Service provided opportunity for us to bridge this ecosystem-based approach to climate adaptations with academic expertise. And it seems like this approach worked well for U.S. Forest Service, so they gave us this $5 million for programs in the city of Albany. When we were working on the grant, uh, we realized that we need uh, institutional commitment for longer-term projects, so that's why we established ITECA. ITECA is the Institute for Transformational and Ecosystem-Based Climate Adaptation, and it's a new institute here at the University of Albany. Our model is to develop and implement uh, a youth climate core um, where we engage students from UAlbany. We train them in urban forestry and climate forestry, actually hands-on skills for planting trees, assessing soils, doing monitoring, tree care, but all kinds of other ecosystem-based adaptation projects and skills. I chose to work here in this university because it's very close to where I live. And the reason why I'm in the studio is because it's urban forestry heavy. It's a topic that I didn't know a lot about when I was getting into it, but now that I see the immense importance behind it. These are second year graduate students so they have all the groundwork for the philosophy, the history, the practices, uh, the tools to really be a practicing planner. So students really have a chance to um, hone their skills and apply it to real life people, communities, and uh, the environment to, to be able to bridge into the practical planning world. We have very technical courses such as planning law and uh, geographic information systems that teaches us concrete policy and laws that we need to interact with, as well as learning how to map heat zones to identify exactly what we need to do and what can be done to help these people. This program is where the next generation of planners for the United States comes from. And so I see that the work that we do, the, the breakthroughs that we make with our academic hat on, will be then brought out to the communities where they'll make the most impact. There's no level of government that actually can solve any of the climate change problems that are impacting local communities because there's a lack of resources at the government level. With federal and state funding, we can um, hire students, uh, undergraduate and graduate students. We can engage faculty and staff to both work with and in partnership with those local governments, but also to implement those projects in the local community. So one of our focuses for ITECA is our um, Urban Cafe Day initiative in the city of Albany. Communities are not necessarily literate about climate change science, climate change impacts, nor about what to do about it. So the capacity building is absolutely essential. It's to help the community to really problem solve and to decide, you know, what do we need to do together? It will be implemented as a part of our curriculum at SUNY Albany, and at the same time, it will be uh, carried through um, town hall meetings with the uh, uh, community to uh, improve the skills of people who live in these communities. We are going to plant an additional 500 trees over the next five years, 100 trees 
per year. We can be getting trees into the neighborhoods where the most needed and really trying to build support at that very local level. Because without that, without neighborhood buy-in, it's not going to be a successful project. As we come up with some solutions, we recognize we're going to have a whole lot of products and services that we're going to need to build the infrastructure to actually do the adaptation and resilience work. So for example, if we're going to be planting a million trees, where do we get a million trees? And those local communities will have businesses and employment that can't be generated outside of the community. What we are working on here is a model which could be then potentially be replicated. How you might be able to create partnerships to promote community-based work that has an essential component of participation. Part of the empowerment for communities is getting people's hands dirty, getting them into the soils, planting the trees to work together for the common good. That's built into us and we're hardwired for that. And it builds this hope and this empowerment um, that probably no other approach that we have right now can do.